Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys seven ways to clear logs and cache from your iPhone. Now, for those of you that may not know, this is data that's stored on your iPhone in order to provide relevant information. It can be very useful at times, but if you have an iPhone for more than two years, I would say you may want to do the seven things I'm about to show you in today's video. Now, for those of you that may not know, cache and logs is data that helps provide a more relevant user experience. For example, if you go into the App Store and you're searching Searching for an application, your recommendations will be better because of the cache or logs that are stored. If you search on Spotlight, if you use Siri, these are going to be types of things that can benefit from cache and logs. However, I've seen users also pile up this information and this data. And if we go into the iPhone settings here and we go into general and go into iPhone storage, I've seen users with system data upwards of 30 40 and 50 gigs and they may not know what's happening or where this data is coming from and that's going to be your logs and your cache so let's show you seven ways on how to clear this information on your iphone at least temporarily to gain some of that storage back and performance so number one head on over into settings you want to scroll down until you find the app store extension there it is you want to click into the app store section you want to scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll find personalized recommendations you want to click into this option right here and it will bring you to the settings for the app store right there is the option clear app usage data these are going to be the logs that you want to delete and the files for the cache in order to be cleared from the history of your app store so that's the number one thing to look at the app store history number two offloading applications from your iphone so let's head on over into settings here let's go into general then iPhone storage and right here you can see a breakdown of the apps that are taking up the most storage from your iPhone. So let's say there's an application you don't use every single day. For me, for example, will be the Disney application. I only use it when I go to the parks. So I can offload this application, removing part of its history and cache, but keeping the data. So I can offload it right here by clicking offload application. It will temporarily remove the app from my iPhone until I'm ready to use it again. I can tap into the app and download it automatically before I need to use it again. Again, this is very useful for apps that you don't use every single day. Now there's also an automatic option for this one. So if we go into settings here, back to the main page we go into the app store options and we scroll down we find the offloading unused applications right here toggles so the iphone will automatically recognize which apps you're not using for the past week or so and they will offload those apps creating more storage and clearing those apps cache on the way as well so yeah if you want to do that automatically your iphone can actually do it for you it can detect which apps you're not using for about a week or so and automatically offload those apps creating more storage for your iphone and then when you're ready to use the app you'll see the icon to download it you can download it quickly and all your data will resume where it left off number three siri and dictation history so if we go into settings here you want to find the siri extension siri and search right here it is then you want to go into siri and dictation history and you'll find this button right here delete siri and dictation history of course siri sometimes can keep your logs in order to provide a better user experience and dictation of course on your iphone as well so you want to clear the cache from the siri history and dictation directly from your iphone by simply going to your siri extension on settings now before we continue i want to talk about today's sponsors k school and their brand new cloud kush cases take a look at these cases all around the edges we have this air cushion to technology that absorbs shock this is a cloud-like edge fill design that protects your iphone and also looks good it is available in various colors i'm sure you've seen me use these cases over the past couple of weeks these are three meter military gray drop resistant so you have nothing to worry about with these cases they feel good they look good and of course they alleviate stress as well because the design feels great in your hand for texting gaming or browsing the internet now for a limited amount of time case cool is hosting an iPad giveaway for the first 100 entries one free iPad will be given away if the number exceeds 100 case cool will throw an additional iPad on this giveaway so make sure you check it out all the links will be of course in the description down below so now jumping into number four Safari so let's go into settings here let's find the Safari extension once you do there it is tap into the Safari extension then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the advanced option right here here you'll find the web data option click into this and this will load up and this will show you the entire log and cache history of safari and you'll see a number on the top here mine is a little over a gigabyte of data so i can clear 
all the data directly from here or I can go back twice here into the Safari extension and then clear all web data and history directly from this section right here. So I can do that directly from advanced or directly from this section here. So if you look at that number and it's over a gig, you may want to look into clearing some of the Safari history and logs. Number five, if you don't use Safari as your main web browser, let's say you use Google Chrome. So you also want to go into Google Chrome. You want to launch the application. You want to find the settings here on the bottom right. And then you want to scroll up just a little bit and you'll find right there it is clear browser data. Data. Click on clear browser data and this of course will remove all the cache and logs kept from the Chrome browser directly from your device, creating more storage and improving the performance of the third party browser as well. Now, number six, you can also do this with third party applications, especially social network applications. So for example, if I go into Twitter here, I can go into my Twitter settings right here. I can also go into the accessibilities display and language and then go into data usage, for example. And then right here we have storage. We have media storage, which of course we can clear out in order to clear some of the cache from Twitter and we have web storage as well so you can manage that storage those logs and cache from third-party applications things like TikTok Instagram you can go into the settings and clear out some of those logs specifically for each application if you wish to do so as well and then number seven this one is super important to me and I always mention this one so you want to go into settings you want to go under privacy you want to go onto location services and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find system services tap into system services scroll all the way to the bottom and right here you have significant location now i will ask you for face id in order to log in once you do this section here keeps the data for where you're going each and every day so it keeps a recommended or significant location in order to provide a better user experience within apple maps so you can clear the history directly from this section right here again this is constantly tracking where you're going in order to give you relevant information information in maps and things like that for traffic and things like that but if you have an iPhone for more than I want to say two years this data can really pile up now you can also turn this off completely if you wish to do so it'll tell you if you turn it off what will happen like things like recommendations and traffic information and other things like significant location to give you better routes won't be available but there are seven things that I think you should definitely do in order to improve your user experience get rid of some of those logs and cash from older iPhones especially if you have an iPhone for more than two to three years, this stuff can really, really pile up. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.